I feel, I feel very free. I feel very relaxed and I feel a little scared. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. That's what I wrote on the board today under the title of slang of the day. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. And that's Wuhan, China. Weather report first. It's 81 degrees and 81% uh, humidity. You can tell from my hair, which always curls up like curly Q French fries this time of year, that uh, yeah, the wet season is here. While I was writing it's the heat, not the humidity on the board, I was really thinking of another bit of slang. Well, another aphorism, another proverb, another saying, leap and the net will appear. It's attributed to the writer John Burroughs. And, uh, you know, it, it's basically, if you don't go, you'll never know. You've got to take a chance. Otherwise you will never get there. Be optimistic, be optimistic. Well, I've leapt. I'll tell you my story. But before I do, um, I'd like to ask you to press the like button. And uh, after watching this, if you'd like to leave a comment, please leave one below. And um, yeah, so I just got out of class. It was a really good class. Uh, I just love it when the students are engaged and up and at it and speaking English. Yeah, take a look. Yeah, really good class today. But uh, my bigger picture, I'm in a floaty mood. Uh, I'm not, I feel, I feel very free. I feel very relaxed and I feel a little scared. I quit yesterday. I, uh, I resigned as a uh, English language instructor at Wuhan University and come uh, end of June, I'll be heading back to America, jobless, <laughs> not sure what the future holds. Life is an adventure, right? Leap and the net will appear. The decision has been long coming. This is my fourth year at Wuhan University. Prior to that was two years at uh, a university in Beijing and um, probably over the 10 years prior to that, spent half my time teaching in China and half uh, in America. So is it time? Well, I made it time. If you watch my channel, if you follow my story, uh, you know that I've been thinking about um, buying a condo or a house back in the United States. I'm 62 years old, not getting any younger, need to, um, well, feel, I, I don't know about need. See, this is the thing. Um, is it a need? It seems like a need. I want to have a, uh, well, I wanna have a residence in, in the United States, especially for when I retire, especially for when my um, American medical uh, retirement comes in when I turn 65 and uh, I think I really need a permanent residence, a fully paid off permanent residence to retire in to feel uh, some semblance of security. I think I'm correct. I know I'm correct. I need to get a place. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I, I don't see myself 
just going to wherever, probably Pittsburgh or some college town, and uh, just sort of living out the golden years. I don't see that. I, I still see uh, travel exploration in my life. And um, are they mutually exclusive? Of course not. But I really need a place. That's what I feel. I keep on questioning because, um, yeah, there's a part of me that says, don't get tied down. The house is a money pit. Even if you think you can afford it, you can't. <laughs> all that said, the uncertainty and all, I made a very certain decision when I resigned. So next adventure is uh, coming soon to, to a video near you. <laughs> timeline and especially to my family and friends back home. Summer and I are flying to San Francisco on June 22nd. She's only able to stay two or three weeks and during that time we are going to um, of course see family and importantly head out to Pittsburgh and uh, look at places. We're gonna take a car, so we do have the freedom to check out some college towns, if only briefly, on uh, at least summer's part of the trip. And then I'll just have to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to figure out the near future, where I'm gonna live before getting a house, uh, job, which of course will be in the same city where I end up, <laughs> or will it? Just a lot of what the hell. More um, couch surfing, house sitting, cat feeding. I'm open to opportunities, so don't be shy. In the short term, I've got uh, more than one month, less than two months before the semester ends. Uh, I've been meaning to um, make a couple videos about what my students have been doing, talking about, writing about some really interesting things. If you don't know, I'm teaching American history, society, and culture, and, um, you know, really having a, a, a great time uh, sharing my knowledge and uh, exchanging information and really hearing um, some interesting thoughts from my students on what they think about America. So I think in future videos, I will do that. In uh, a little over a week, we have our Labor Day holiday, uh, May 1st, and this is exciting. I get to do my first travel back to Thailand in what, four years? Like four years, three and a half, four years. Uh, we all know what's been going on over the last three years travel-wise. So uh, one last trip to Thailand, who knows, may stay there. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. On the other hand, it's so inexpensive compared to America. Oh my God, I'm just, you know, I was thinking about, I, I was back in America in January and, oh, sticker shock. It's just crazy. Just, 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 just crazy. But, um, that's, that's a very common rant for everybody in America, everybody who visits America. Uh, I, can, I can rant all I want in future videos when I'm back. So for now, a lot of dreaming. A lot of dreaming, a lot of planning, pre-planning. Avoiding the nightmares, trying not to worry about, uh, you know, the bad things that might happen, that could happen, that won't happen. Pre-planning a route. I know that we are flying into San Francisco on June 22nd. I know that we are going to the Denver, Colorado area where my brother and his family lives and heading to Pittsburgh. Great American car trip across the country. But where 
you know, where to stop on the way there and back. Yeah, we'll have to plot that a future day. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Flexibility will be the key though. I remember the last time I drove to Denver, there was a uh, wildfire somewhere in uh, Utah. And um, God, just barely got through by the skin of my teeth before they closed the highway. Wildfire season in the West, it's a real thing. So I got a plot, I got a plan, gotta be flexible. That's what I love about travel, all of that together. I'm actually feeling very light. When I went in to resign, I didn't know how I would react. And it was, it was all good. Uh, you know, all the questions of, is this the right decision? Should I sign on for one more year as they wanted me to? Uh, it just sort of dissolved, it floated away. It's a confirmation that I'm making the right decision. Leap and the net will appear? I sure hope so. But for now, I'm going to end this video. I really want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Press the like button. Like, like, like. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe. All right, guys, I will catch you next time. Bye.